In a studio that's in a basement comes the epic story of how two friends changed the future of the movie podcast game forever. The reviews are in. Boys Life Magazine gives the High Psy Podcast four and a half acorns. The Daily Bugle says, these guys are super legit. And Pope Francis declares the podcast as life affirming. From the kid who tried to get smart with David Spade and got fucking old. You're still out. You're still back. And the guy who can name all four Baldwin brothers. Alec, William, Daniel, and the baby boy, Stephen. Live from the studio of his parents' basement. The Have You Seen It Podcast. Well, here we are. <laughs> I wasn't sure if we were running <laughs> or not. I didn't know who, uh, who was going to start that little I conversation sh- off. I, was, uh, I wasn't sure if we were uh, up and going. We are up and going. All right, we're, we're We are live. recording. How's it going, Mason? It's going well. How about yeah. yourself? Huh? Pretty... How are you in this fine Tuesday afternoon? Oh, it's... Uh... It's pretty warm out, but it's feeling nice in here. In here, it, thanks to the new yeah. AC unit we just installed in the, it's a, the old high size studio. Yes, sir. It went from being uh, just a sweat box every day, just it was uh, an absolute sauna. Yeah. To uh, now, it's a little too cold. Yeah. <laughs> now I'm wishing me, you now, can hear you can hear the water drip off the igloo yeah. or off the ice. It gives it a nice ambient noise, like we're uh, recording in the rainforest. Right. That's what it's, it sounds it's like. It's nice. Yeah. I like it. And it's gonna like subconsciously make you go pee. Everyone yeah, listening. Be, yeah, I actually have to pee right yeah, now. Yeah. Well, you always yeah. always have to. I always pee. have to pee. <laughs> I drink way too much water. Uh, yes, you do. It's a it's a big problem. It is. I, I keep telling you, you gotta stop drinking that water. I heard it's not good for your kidneys. <laughs> Well, Mason, what are we gathered here in the High Psy uh, studio to talk about today? Well, um, Stranger Things 3. Wow. Yeah. Finally. We, we Finally. waited for so long, and now, uh, how long, what, what's it been, two years? Yeah, it's been about two years since the last one. And then it's just gone in two days. I yeah. <laughs> Less than two days. Yeah, yeah. Really. I think I watched it within like eighteen hours. I yeah. watched the whole thing. It's uh, as soon as I got back, I, it's I tried crazy. to finish yeah. it. Something we wait so long for, and then it's gone immediately. So you just yep. burn through them. You do, and then you got to wait another two years. That's the only bad thing about those shows is is you got to burn through them. I like that Hulu idea where they drop one episode a week. I mean, I hate it, but it makes yeah, sense. Yeah, I do not like that. Because it forces you to subscribe <laughs> for three months. You know? I do not like that at all. I would much rather just burn through it than uh, yeah. have to wait. But uh, yeah, we we, uh, we got through it. It was here. This one takes place in the summer, July 4th. Mm-hmm. Was it uh, was it worth the wait? Yeah, I What's thought your it opinion? was. I thought it was. I thought this was the... I mean, I don't want to jump into it right now, but... I was very Don't impressed with this season. Into it. You man. just do what you got to do. I was super impressed with the season. I thought it was the best one yet. I was more entertained with this one than I ever have been. And obviously, all three seasons have been fantastic. Oh yeah. But this is the best one by far. I love the '80s nostalgia, and I love the they 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 turned the stereotypical Russian spy or not Russian spy, but Russian trope. You know. Oh yeah. And they turned it into something that was really funny. But also very frightening at the same oh, time. Oh, yeah. So it was a good balance. Well, that's what this, oh, at least the first three seasons, definitely you could, it's just, every season is just pulling from 50 different 80s movies and everything. They take so, everything you see you can, you know, uh, trace back to a movie or something. Even with the, like, the traditional 80s bad guy, the Terminator, yeah. Yeah. The, <laughs> the Russian Terminator. That I mean, for sure. That was so awesome. That it was, was totally it. a play on uh, oh, the for Terminator, sure. for oh, sure. Oh, yeah, absolutely. It was obvious. Yeah. And it was, I mean, it worked out, it worked perfectly. That guy fucking stole it. I he did. love that He did that a great guy. job. He was menacing. He was. He was he like, was scary. Uh, yeah. He even had the. Uh, he didn't speak one word of English. I don't think that entire show. <laughs> I don't think he did. Did he? No, and that made it much much scarier yeah, to me. Yeah, did. Cause, yeah, uh, very much so because he was like because Russian, hundred percent <laughs> Russian. <laughs> yeah, and he was man. He was definitely for the cause. Yes, he, was, he was. There was no wavering of no. Uh, pride. He he was all for it for sure. Man, did he beat the shit out of Dave Harborough when they first met? Oh my god! Just body blow after body blow. 
Vicious. You gotta work Brutal, the kidneys. Man. You gotta work you the have kidneys. To. <laughs> That's one thing you learn. You gotta work the body. You, oh, it comes Soften up. Soften them up. Yeah. <laughs> then you hit them up top. Oh yeah, baby. It. Oh, you got to. You got to cut that tree down. Yeah. Yeah, man. But uh, I agree, man. This season is bigger in every fucking way. The story, the the eighties nostalgia, and we talk about it all the time. But they just do it, the eighties the best. Yeah, it's like were, looking yeah. at a home movie from the eighties or something. The mall, the Starlight Mall. God, it was beautiful, man. Per the that Sears and J C Penney. Awesome. Yeah, it was amazing, yeah. man. The stupid fucking outfits that they used to make people wear yeah. that for uh, wow, demeaning. I know, no kidding. <laughs> and you, that and so you're already getting paid. It's like Chips yeah. Ahoy or whatever on the top of my. Dude, this is this is ridiculous. Oh yeah, but that was they always did that with like mm-hmm. a. Oh man, crazy! Like Wetzel Pretzel used to make you dress up and shit. Like now they say wear whatever the fuck. Yeah, you want. go ahead. Just yeah. here, here's wear an overalls. Yeah, just I know. Our little logo. Just put here. this That's net it. on. Yeah. yeah, we don't need to be extra anymore. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I mean, somehow they they just uh, find a way to make it to make it great again. Every way I think, man, how could you uh, outdo season two? But uh, this did it, and they always make you care about like the weirdest characters. Yeah. Like they do. in season two is Bob, like Bob, everyone yeah. just loved. Yeah, and this the one, first it, one it was uh, Barb. Yeah, yeah. and this yeah. one it's Alexi. Yeah, the Alexi, Russian, the Russian, that, that the Russian good. scientist. I know he that just so wanted sad. to eat at Seven Eleven. I saw that coming though. I, if they were oh, going to kill sure. anyone, I was oh, like, okay, yeah. this guy's going to die, and that's going to Well, it was following. It's exa- it was forward. exactly following the yeah. the first two. I mean, the the playbook. But yeah, I don't know how how they do it. How. Somehow they made me care very much about this, this little old Russian yeah, Alexei. Yeah, definitely. I was, man, I was, yeah, I was very, uh, and, very and upset that, when, well, spoiler alert, but uh, he does end up passing. Yeah, he does. That was one of my favorite scenes in the whole show, though, when Hopper was like, you know what, fine, throw the keys. He does the, the trope, right, where it's like, because he, he wanted the, it was the cherry slurping, and he got yeah, the man. strawberry one. There's been so many memes about that already. But it's hilarious, you know, and, and that scene was really funny, because I was like, oh, Hopper fucked up big time. Well, and then he ended up at the very end being I was right. th- I was thinking the whole, well, as soon as he got him the fast food, I was immediately thinking, man, there's no way he wants to go back. I mean, there's no, no way shitty communist Russia. There's no, uh, yeah. Two in the skull. Exactly, and measure. they kill you yeah, immediately. Right I away. mean, you could just. It doesn't matter. You don't come they get to. get all the information out of you, and they kill you. Oh, especially then when everyone was just thinking everyone was a spy yeah, <laughs> so, during the cold war oh absolutely but uh, yeah so i mean if you don't come to work one day in fucking russia they immediately assume that uh you're you're just uh you're a spy mm-hmm. they'll kill you for anything yeah anything so yeah he he knew immediately but yeah i liked that a lot i thought for a little bit i'm like man he's really just taking off i know that's what i thought too i was like dang he's going somewhere but yeah, that was the first reaction. That yeah, and then and then from there, you just you just fall in love. They have like the little bromance him and the yeah. other guy. I feel really the bad for that guy. The translator, yeah, you got to feel bad for him. <laughs> they were good friends. Oh, they were best buds for sure. What did you think about uh, about Billy? Billy's the new bad guy in this one, right? Yeah, yeah, man. I just got to say, overall, um, there he is. Every single kid in this show kicks so much ass. Oh, yeah. But I mean, like, their acting abilities. Every yeah. single one of these kids impresses me. This kid like, is fucking, I think, going to be yeah, something he's special. Great. Yeah, he's a really great actor. It must, I mean, it must have been, like, they must have saw him from season two and been like, mm-hmm. oh, we got to give this yeah. guy a bigger role because yep. he is something. And that happens a lot, too, man. I mean, he could have been working and then they noticed how good of an actor he was. And oh, yeah, for sure. Yeah. Much bigger role in season three. But, he yeah, deserves it. he killed he's, it. He's good. That scene when he's in the sauna, very yeah. fucking sad. It yeah. was, and and like you said, you, all the kids are amazing, but Max, Max had a, a much bigger mm-hmm. role, and she, she did. did. She killed it too. Yeah. I and loved that's her. Be hard too, because she she didn't start the show until season two, you know. So mm-hmm. being a, being a child actor and then coming into a show that's already established would yeah. be a hard role to fill, and I think she's done a very good job with that. And season two, they were kind of talking about how they probably added her just to make more female characters right. and then they kind of underutilized her i thought in season two you know she didn't yeah. have a big role but in this one i thought they kind of they redeemed that for sure because she has a much but it doesn't feel forced or anything yeah. like that tacked on i loved her and uh eleven's kind of relationship yes. how they go shopping and they have the stereotypical like uh shopping uh scene where they're going through different stores and trying yeah. on outfits it's just very fucking 80s and i loved all the different adventures that we went on there were three different adventures, you know. It oh was, yeah. Um, it was Hopper and Grace, um, you know. It was Eleven, 
And then it was uh uh what's his name? Sister and her Dustin, boyfriend. Dustin, yeah, Dustin and uh what's 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 his name? Steve. Oh, Jonathan, duh. Steve, yeah. No, no, Steve. Yeah, Steve. Yep. Yeah, no, it was Dustin, Steve, uh Hopper and Winona Ryder. Yeah. And uh also what's the what's the girl's name? Not Steve Harrington, but uh Oh, Billy and Nancy. Nancy. Yeah, and they had their own thing with them, like the full mystery of them figuring out the old lady and whatnot and with mm-hmm. the rats and everything. Yep. And the how her, the the press or the newspaper where they were totally just like misogynistic Didn't it or dicks. Anything. Yeah. yeah, they were just they were dude, horrible dudes. They were way over the top. I'm <laughs> like, dude, these are the worst human beings on the face of the planet. Oh yeah, dude. Yeah. They were awful. They were awful. And but lo- it was almost like comically awful where it was like, okay, they're clearly making a point here because this is Oh yeah. Well they did not ridiculous. they did not like the woman in the workplace. Because no. then they treated uh not Billy, but uh it's Nancy and what's what's Will's Billy. No, Billy's a bad kid. Yeah. Yeah. So hold on, who are you talking about? Nancy and the photographer kid. Uh, oh, Jonathan. Jonathan, that's it. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, Nancy and Jonathan. Yeah, they were like super cool to fucking Jonathan, but mm-hmm. they just fucking hated Nancy. And uh that was Barry or Gary Busey's brother, the guy that was like the, the dick to her the whole time. Really? Yeah. The guy with oh man, how could you not I'll try to put oh, I can't remember what his name is. But there was a ton of fucking uh what was I going to say? Oh, the, uh, the special effects. There's a lot more special effects in mm-hmm. this one. And they looked really fucking really good. good. Surprisingly I, good, especially yeah. for a TV show, man. The monster at the end, it, there was not a scene that I thought it looked bad. Not at all, no. And I love the color scheme that they used in this, too. I love the deep reds, too, you know, in, in the sky and stuff when it's circling around. Oh, yeah. It looked really good. I loved... Uh, I love the monster. I would fucking formed like the blob. Oh, that's definitely abusive. <laughs> yeah, I don't know why I didn't see that to begin with. Yeah, no, hello. Yeah, he started in Starch Star uh, Starship Troopers. That's what I know him from on Sci Fi Channel. Yeah, he's got the Gary. He's got the Busey face for yeah, sure. He definitely does. Didn't go the same route with his brother. As nope. in going insane. Oh, okay. So he's a fairly normal human. being. <laughs> what I hear, he's pretty normal. Okay. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, he didn't go full crazy, unfortunately, because that gave us some of our best Gary Busey moments. Yes, it did. <laughs> and uh, we we have to say another character that we all fell in love with for whatever reason was uh, Mrs. Driscoll. <laughs> the sweet old lady who uh, ate the oh, fertilizer that poor lady. and exploded. Yeah, that was sad. Man, how many people fucking dying in this town? So many. At I mean, some the, point, how do you repopulate this town every <laughs> at year? At some point, the story's going to get out. It's, I it mean, people to. are going to pick this yeah. up. I half, mean, there's too Half many that goddamn dying. town. Yeah, what yeah. are they going to say? Well, did they say at the very end it was the mall explosion? That's what they blamed it on? Yeah, of course. But who's going to buy that? Even in the 80s, you've got to start asking man. questions. It's the 80s. People don't fucking know. Oh, my God. <laughs> it's Ridiculous. <laughs> Yeah, but a lot of I mean they upped the body count. I mean they upped everything in this one, but they yeah. definitely upped the fucking body count for mm-hmm. sure because I kept thinking, oh, they got to have like maybe these people are going to reblob up or something, but no. No, they're, they're, they're not just gonna... dead. <laughs> yeah. All of them are just dead. <laughs> they are not. And there were gonna... there were some kids that died too. Or some younger kids, I should say. Oh, like for the, sure, yeah. yeah. Well, fucking I really feel bad for Billy's first victim, the other lifeguard. Uh, yeah, the chick. other girl. Yeah. She really got the raw end of the deal. She really did. <laughs> she was just super nice, seeing if Billy was all right. And I, the whole time I'm thinking, oh, maybe she, the, the spell is going to snap. And she's <laughs> no, she just turned into a fucking blob. Yeah. <laughs> and, yeah. So uh, moral of the story, don't go and help, uh, don't go and help people. Never. Never. Ex- well, at least not in the 80s. No. Not in the 80s, you don't. I mean, people will just kill you for no reason. Dustin, uh, we talked about it a little bit earlier, but Dustin, uh, he had a big part in this. And I fucking loved his part with the him and his girlfriend and everything. That we uh, didn't know was real until at the very end. Oh. And you totally saw it coming, though. Oh, I knew d- she was going to be real. I don't know. I don't, I don't oh, know. I knew because no. all of them, all, Bro, they it, made it too obvious. Every, they were like, everyone in the show was like, eh, I don't know. He doesn't have a girlfriend. Yeah, yeah. I, I can't. Had to, you had but to it was like, it was the stereotypical thing where your buddy always comes back for right. summer. And, oh, my girlfriend in Canada. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. If they would have done it a little more subtly, I could have seen him going that way where it, what, he didn't actually have a girlfriend. 
but they hinted around at it too much. Well, and he like, okay, he didn't give it away. Me. He didn't seem. I think he would have no. acted like it was fake if if that was the route that right. they were going. Because, but he one hundred percent was selling it that he had a girlfriend. Oh, for sure. What was her yeah. name? Lucy. Yeah, Lucy. Yeah. What. Their, their scene of singing the never-ending story theme song was <laughs> fucky. I did not expect Just that. Just such of... a random time to do that, too. You got to try to save it's... the world. You got to save your friends. And I loved how they did it. It almost was... gave me anxiety watching that. I'm like, okay, finish the song. We <laughs> well, it was the peak them. of the movie. I mean, it was yeah. right when the, they were all about to die They're from the monster. They're running away from it. Yeah, yeah they, even uh, Nancy and them were driving away from the monster. Oh, yeah. Yeah. But uh, him and uh, what's his name? Sister. Also, I thought their dynamic was amazing in it too. What's the kid's name? The the, the smart girl that they have end up going through the rafters or whatever in the Russian base. Oh yeah, yeah, she was yeah, hilarious. She, was she had a huge part too, and I figured that she was gonna have a big part as she, when she kept coming. It was back Lucas's to that. little sister. Um, yeah, she had a big fucking emerging role. She Erica. had a huge air. Erica, of course. In the show. yeah, you can't really spell well. America without. And Erica, she was like a young yeah. capitalist. Dude. Yeah. She was, <laughs> She was hilarious. She was awesome for she, sure. Yeah, she was a great actress too. She she had a lot of funny yeah, moments. She was hilarious. That. Her timing was really good too. Mm-hmm. And her and Dustin, and like again, they did the whole thing of her being really like a secret nerd, and then him giving her the Dungeons and Dragons book at the end. That was that was sweet. Yeah, she's done a lot of work already. Has she really? Yeah. I mean, for a little kid, yeah, she's already got twelve credits. Yeah, the rise of Erica. She, uh, I could see her doing a lot more stuff too. What about the the introduction of Robin? What do you think about that? I like Robin. I liked Robin a lot too. I and thought... they took it a complete different way than I expected them to take it. And I liked it. I ended up actually liking yeah. it that way. I mean, it wasn't. I know some people are going to think that they did it just to like appease like the LGBTQ too. But I, I mean, I think it worked out where it was. It was definitely. I mean, it wasn't the stereotypical stereotypical trope. Where it was just Steve's, where you fall in love at the where end. Where was just Steve's love interest mm-hmm. the entire time, and they end up being in love. Well, and they end up being best friends at the end. Yeah, so that, that, that like I liked more a lot. Of a best yeah, that I liked a lot too. You know, you can get away with a lot more. Oh yeah, where you don't sure, have yeah. the the love interest that tangles it. Yeah, and they did it a good way too. You know, I did too, and she was awesome in it. She kicked ass. Yeah, she did. Smart. She fucking busted the code. And I love the part when they're tripping out on LSD or whatever, and they're <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the truth serum. Yeah, the truth serum, which I'm sure it's just fucking acid. Just oh, I mean. definitely. <laughs> yeah, no questions there. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I, I liked her a lot. I thought she did. Uh, she did a really good job. Let's talk about the fucking. I mean, we talk about the '80s, but. Uh, they killed the fucking nineteen eighties uh, clothing. And yes, everything. they did. My God, yeah. it's the dorkiest it was awesome. shit. In the, it was and pretty awesome. And the though. haircuts. We gotta talk about that. Oh God, just the worst. What were Man, they thinking? I don't know. <laughs> it's less is more, but it was more is more back then. In the fucking eighties. The bigger, the better. Big fucking hair. A lot of hair back then. All the moms and everything. And Billy trying to fuck all the moms. I didn't see that. <laughs> oh my goodness. Yeah. No kidding. Hell yeah, Billy. That's the 80s. Number one lifeguard in the town. Oh, yeah, bro. He's fucking everyone. <laughs> Swinging <You're> it. <laughs> everyone, everyone's just like, hey, Billy. Yeah. Like, Jeez, man. This guy's got it here. Man. He's never moving. <laughs> He's with old moms every year. Yeah, he, uh, and he was, it was weird. He was going to fuck, uh, what's, uh, Mike's mom. Mike's mom, yeah. I forgot that was his mom until I showed her. I'm like, that would be yeah, really fucking... That would be crazy. I'm sure Mike would have feel uh, so bad towards the end if he found out that that guy was going to fuck his mom. Right. <laughs> He's like, yeah, let him die. Yeah, that guy was a piece of shit, actually. That guy, actually. <laughs> yeah, he actually was. Billy was kind of a piece of shit. To be well, I got to know how that husband got with her in the first place. Because he's such a dork, and she's hot. Yeah. You know, so it's like, it makes no sense. <sighs> Who knows? Well, you got to think, they probably got together in what? The 60s? Yeah. So different times, man. That's True. when anyone could get anyone. I mean, it was just not a lot of people back then. You, know, you had less choices. That was the thing. 
I also like we didn't talk about, but the whole uh, Billy's background and everything was shown in like his mom and everything. I didn't expect that very that much. That was deep. They went deep, yeah. They did some really good flashbacks too. You know, when Eleven's going in and like yeah. trying to observe his life and or I, whatever. I love that effect that they do when it's all black, but mm-hmm. she's like walking through water or something. Yeah, and it's that really always cool. looks really cool. They do it every year, and every year it 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 uh, looks cool. Yeah, this one they did a lot though. I mean, she must have bled. A pint of blood this year. No kidding. Well, that one <laughs> scene where nose. she was bleeding a bunch. Yeah, she had a bunch of bleeding. bloody yeah. tissues everywhere. I mean, you got to get lightheaded. Oh, at some of course. Point. Yeah, <laughs> you're losing a it's lot a of blood. <laughs> but uh, yeah, what about should we should we just get into it and talk about what happens at the end? What happens to L? Yeah, let's talk about it. Losing her powers. Could you believe that? Is she gonna get him back? Well, she has to. Yeah, you know how's she, she gonna to. how's she gonna save Hopper? Yeah, that's true. Yeah. yeah, let's talk about the big cliffhanger. Hopper's one hundred percent not dead. No, of course. I mean, but after I that did after predict that scene. I was like, really, <laughs> really, and I knew he was going to be alive because they didn't show him get incinerated. At oh the end. yeah, and I was like, if you don't show it, he's not dead. Bro, it's he, the old Star Wars. He trend. jumped into that fucking uh, vagina in the wall. He jumped Ooh, in you the port. So? Oh, I think he jumped in and got transported to fucking Russia. And he just got spit out there, and they're like, get this guy in the fucking yeah, jail. That's true. Like, yeah. what the hell's going on? People were coming out of this other side. Now it's not supposed to happen. Yeah, I think he saw it blowing up, and he's like, oh, I got to do something. I can't run that way. It's so a good idea. For sure. Oh, I think that's what happened. Yeah. yeah. Might as well take your chances. What's the worst that happens? Oh, yeah, you're going to get You're going to die anyways. either way. Yeah. yeah. Best case scenario, you get some cool superhero power or something mm. from the radiation. You got that going hey, for you. Hey, that'd be sick. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yeah, I, I liked what they ended up doing with Eleven and. She ended up ended up being like the strongest she's ever been, but mm-hmm. without her powers, you know, she right. was the most human in this one. But she uh, couldn't do anything at the end. She no. lost. It was probably all the fucking blood loss. Oh, for sure. <laughs> she's probably getting delusional. She's probably got man. some yeah, yeah. Um, aneurysm or Seeing something. Shit. She, she needs to go to the doctor. To be honest with you, but uh, yeah, uh, Hopper's death. I mean, uh, Hopper, what do you think about Hopper in this one? He's going full dad bod, for well, sure. Well, I, I do have to say this. You called it. You called this, Cash. Well, before <laughs> the season even started, well, before kinda, it came out. Kinda. No, you did call it because you said that uh, you, you determined Hopper was going to die. Yeah, but did he really die? But here's the Technically, thing. he died. But here's the thing. At least you saw the story yeah. arc coming. Yeah. So you saw it coming. So at least I, I got to give you credit there. Cause <laughs> you you can't determine whether or not they're going to do some after credits fucking Marvel shit where they're like, oh, yeah, hey, he's still alive. So well, as of, I got to give it to you. You called it. As of right now, he's dead, right? I mean, as, as, of as right the now, story, yes. he's dead. As right the now. story yeah. goes, he's dead now. That's what everyone's supposed to think, right? No one's yeah. supposed to think he actually lived. So I know, man, we should have put, put some money on it. You know they were taking bets. I know. That's a prop bet. But, yeah, I was going to say, if you and I bet, I'd be like, whoa, we got to wait for season four, pal. <laughs> oh, yeah, we bet each other, yeah. Yeah, if we would have bet oh, each other. Oh, yeah. yeah. It's a whole different story there. I'm not going to give you credit <laughs> if I'm betting on no, it. No, man, you just gave me credit, so you would <laughs> owe me money. This is true. But, uh, yeah, it's it's a, it's a good cliffhanger, and it kind of goes with the whole 80s kind of ask thing yeah, with the does. cliffhangers and mm-hmm. stuff, with sequels and whatnot. Yeah. They well, they it. did that all the time in 80s uh, horror films. Oh. You know? Like, the guy was never like dead. Jason's hand coming back out and stuff like that. Or Mike so. Myers walking out after right. he got shot six times. 7,000 times in the <laughs> couple chest. times in the eye, yeah. I think. <laughs> yeah, I don't know how you walk away from that. Yeah. No, he didn't. Tough uh, guy. And we got to talk about the buyers leave. They got to get out of that fucking town. Yeah, but how are they going to do a season four if they're out of that town? Oh, they're bringing them back. You think so? Oh, oh duh. Yeah, they're gonna they're gonna all have to come back. At how some are they going to move back though? Like, how do you bring that storyline back? I don't to think the they town? move back. I think they can just come back. Like oh, okay. the shit's going. So it's down. like they're one you. town over. Yeah, it's I don't so think, stupid. I don't think Why they move very far. One town over. Well, I, I'm, sure, move I'm sure halfway across the the country. Well, at this point, man, her kids are getting really in danger. Joyce yeah, Byers. Yeah. At this point, you're just a bad parent if you're sticking if, around. Because yeah. you, one of your sons is getting real fucked up. He's not probably going to make it too yeah, long. Third time's a charm. <laughs> not a good scenario in this case. No, it's no. too much. At this point, you're putting your children at risk. And, and uh, you're doing it consistently. <laughs> yeah, you yeah. need to move away. I mean, I would move to the other side of the country if that shit happened three times. Are you fucking kidding me? A giant monster's walking around now? Now we got portals coming out? Yeah. You got to get out of there. Yeah. Go to Canada. This shit never I'd happens I'd probably build a boat and just go <laughs> sail out in the ocean the rest of my life. Yeah. 
And never Stop take your eye works, off those fucking kids. Know? Yeah, no. Never take your eye off those kids. But, uh, yeah. Uh, speaking of buyer, Joyce, she can't catch a break. No, Everyone she, she loves dies. She, it is a, uh, it's a very sad thing. <laughs> Everyone she gets Your heart close gotta, to, yeah. uh, dies for sure. It's, she's having bad luck and she's getting crazier. Everyone, man, her hair's getting more wild mm-hmm. and everyone, this one, you think she's, she's going to start getting it together. You think her and Hopper are going to make, make a run at it. Finally get together. She, and it doesn't happen. No, no. She ended up, uh, standing him up. Well, it, well, yeah, <laughs> that that was a funny, and I really like that shirt Hopper bought. It was, was definitely Miami nice Vice. Yeah, that was nineteen eighties Miami it. Vice. It was a good shirt. He's a it cop, so he was like, "Oh yeah, yeah fuck." He's like, "I'm getting this one." He goes, "I know what Miami Vice." I is. love it because the entire time people were giving him shit for it. Everywhere he went, they're like, uh-huh. "What are you wearing?" And that was the. I think he only owns two shirts. That yeah, I think shirt so. and that his and the cop, cop yeah. shirt. It's like God, he, man. But uh, I like the whole dynamic too of them. And him trying to be a dad or whatever, and trying to make sh- trying to make sure Eleven's yeah. you know not yeah, getting and pregnant the door, back there. Three in- yeah, yeah, no kidding. God, take it easy, kid. I know God. they were just going at it. Yeah, Mike's a little horn dog. Oh, you well, you relax, know, man, you're 13, 14. Hey, yeah, I know. You're going crazy in there. It's a weird time for those. <laughs> oh, it's yeah, it's a weird, weird time. time. And in the 80s, they don't have internet. That's true. What else are you going to do except there's kiss a, on a bed? There's nothing you can yeah. do, man. There's absolutely nothing. But, uh, yeah. yeah, doing it when Hopper's literally three feet away, it's risky. Not, oh, Knowing yeah. that man carries you, a this gun. This kid's got balls on him, okay? <laughs> they may not have dropped, but he's definitely got them on him. <laughs> And when Hopper goes in there, he gives him shit, dude. He fucking yells at him, man. I'd be scared of Hopper, man. But I liked it because, you know, you could tell that or uh, Mike knew that he was just, that Hopper was just trying to be, or he didn't want to ruin his relationship so Mike could pretty much get away with anything Mm -hmm. because he didn't want to do anything to fucking... uh, Piss off Eleven. Yeah. Because she does, I mean, have superpowers. Well, that and, and it's his daughter and... What not, but uh, yeah, he, she could kill him in a heartbeat yeah. if she decided and just snap his neck because <laughs> she is fucking strong she in this is. one, she's getting stronger for sure. Uh, she f- just threw that car, yeah. She- I love that part when she just squashed those fucking four guys. They kill some people in this, they kill a lot of people <laughs> in this one. I think this is by far the most death we've seen. Oh, in the a Stranger most, Things, the most blood for sure. Yeah. I love the way that fucking the Russian bad guy died. That Just, was wild. That's a very well, 80s d- bad d- guy. D- d- Where in the 80s, for some reason, they always had to, like, every time someone died, they couldn't, they had to die. In the in most some spectacular insane, form. Like, it's yeah. always in some kind of grinder or something, like a meat <laughs> grinder or something. It's always that. Why are these everywhere <laughs> in know. film? How many meat grinders are There's there? There's so many, like, rock quarries yeah. and stuff that are smash ants. They're everywhere. I've never been to a rock quarry. Uh, but they Neither run to them everywhere. It always ends in a rock quarry. It does. But, yeah, but that was really good because uh, that guy was definitely a son of a bitch in this. Yeah, he fucking was. Fucking Hopper. Persistent Hopper could not get too. away no, from that guy. Not. He went out in the fun house and stuff. That was a good scene too, because I thought he shot and I thought he shot him for sure. I like that house too. Of mirrors. I liked it where they kind of flipped it there, and then Hopper mm-hmm. had the advantage had, on yeah. him. Yeah, that was awesome. But uh, yeah, I, I loved. Uh, and well, all, when he shot him like five times, did you think he was dead? I was no, like, no, I knew he was it's too vest. easy. Yeah, that guy's the super fucking right. commando. He's he's you fucking go in prepared. without a vest. That's amateur hour. Man. <laughs> oh yeah, God, for sure. Me? No. I think in Russia, you just have to, everyone just wears bulletproof vests. Just, just walk around and like go to the you. grocery store. Grandma's got one Grandma, on. don't forget your bulletproof Grandma, vest. Yeah. Throw that on. It's like a coat here where you're like, your mom's always telling you wear a coat. In Russia, they tell you put on your vest. Because you never know. You never know when a fight's going to break out in the street. You got a war coming. Russia's always trying to get, in. people are always trying to invade Russia. It's a crazy time, man. It is. It's a crazy time. But uh, I love what they did with Alexei's character and how he just wanted to go to 7-Eleven and everything because that's like that was he's obsessed with Slurpees that was like the biggest thing though fucking they I mean have you ever seen uh, a supermarket in the 80s communist Russia no have you seen the videos or anything no I haven't oh man let me pull one up for you it's just do they have them in Russia oh yeah let me show you Here's a little clip. Everything's always gray in Russia for some reason. Like they only yeah, have one very, filter yeah. for care. <laughs> this is it. This is a normal supermarket in Soviet Russia, 1986. 
just a few years before the fall of communism. Everything's in fucking boxes. You gotta unpack it still. What? Look at that. So I'm con I'm confused. Do they put this food out for people or what? Yeah. That does not look. But appealing. it's just really really small portions. You know, everyone kind of waits till because they didn't have excess of anything. Look at that. Damn, that's crazy. Yeah. So when anyone, any Russians or anything came over here and they saw, like, the supermarket or anything, they would, they would just, like, immediately start crying. Like, uh, you ever hear the story about the, the Russian president, what, Boris Yeltsin or... Uh, That's so crazy there's that little of food. Yeah, man. It just goes to show you that we did not need to fight communism. It, would, it was just going to fail on its yeah, own. It yeah, <laughs> I mean, yeah We put so much effort into communism when it was just going to kill itself. There's, I mean, something like that. And then, but that, that's the whole reason of Alexi, like, loving 7-Eleven yeah. and everything. And the, because, I mean, they didn't have, like, excess of anything. Well, yeah. Half the food was it, fucking it, open and looked like it was rotten. Crazy. The crazy old Russia. Didn't take much for a fucking... That's the risk with having Russians come over here, spies in the 80s. You had to leave them in that bunker all the time. Because <laughs> if they got out, yeah, they're they not coming. never coming back. <laughs> nope. <laughs> No, it's not going to happen, man. Why would you? Kidding me? We got 7-Eleven. We got Burger King. We got Cherry Slurpees. We have Freedom. <laughs> That's <laughs> Which a is big nice. thing. I mean, it's pretty pretty good to have. Yeah. But the fact that the, the the pull of the Russians in opening that, that bunker that went down like 80 floors. Jeez. What was in the core of the earth? Yeah, no kidding. My God. Well, I mean, the structure and everything. That. That's the most corrupt mayor of all time. You it let it invading. Been, yeah. <laughs> People think Trump did something bad. Yeah, <laughs> this mayor needs to be locked up forever. He let them, but yeah, it's they way got all, past Watergate. They got a yeah, man. They got an eighty thousand foot square facility under your fucking mall. How many years do you think that took to build? Ten. How'd they build it? Yeah, they didn't have that in the seventies. <laughs> it would have took at least ten years to build. Yeah, and I'm, what, what, where are you explaining all these materials? Like, why are we, why is this taking, why is this <laughs> yeah. mall take 30 years to build? No shit, right? Yeah. <laughs> well, maybe why it's been. We have 30 times the amount of metal <laughs> to, to build this thing. But the mayor, you know, he was getting that little, that cut. He was getting that cut back. So he yeah, was he like, hey, it. keep it going, man. No he, questions asked. He, he just say, hey, pay me those checks. And I loved, I loved the whole dynamic of the mall came in. And was putting all the regular the mom and pop businesses out mm -hmm. of shop and stuff, but today it's like everyone's bitching that malls are going out of because of the internet because and of everything. the internet. Isn't that and weird? Amazon, yeah. yeah. Well, it's Amazon Prime Day today. It is happy, happy Amazon I guess Prime I Day. I didn't buy a single thing. Come to find out, the deals are not as good as what Amazon says they are. No. If you do your homework, I f they've talked. They've been talking about that yeah. for the last three years. Yeah, it's a total ripoff, and most of the workers are on strike today. Yeah, I saw that. Yeah, yeah and so, big numbers. Yeah, so up we, in Seattle too. Yeah, so you probably don't. We probably don't have to promote that. No, I, <laughs> I, no, we don't need to. No, <laughs> we're not getting a cut, and it's probably no, pretty not. shitty. Yeah, it is. But yeah, I look. I went on there for a second, and uh, the deals were not anything. There was nothing. I mean, it just no. seemed like it was all regular price. Mm -hmm. What are they doing? But yeah, the malls aren't what they used to be. No. They're, They're going not. out of business, man. They are big no time. No more Sears. Go over to that Longview one. It's it's a ghost. Oh town. man, it's so it's depressing walking town. in there. Yeah, it fucking like makes my skin crawl. I hate dying malls. It's the most depressing thing it's in the so world. So depressing because I remember walking through that. They had a full food court back in the day when I was a kid. They don't. Have yeah, they had a Macy's. There. They had a yeah. bunch of stores. They don't even have any food anymore. They got like one store. I'm like, no, wow. half the stores are closed down. Yeah, it's, it's such a weird. It's like. It's like what but I. But then they built that cinema there, that movie theater, and I'm like, what the fuck? I know, yeah, but well, they had a movie theater there before, didn't they? Well, right. And then the they came in and redid it. You remodeled it, yeah. the whole thing and built it from the the ground up. Just but I think crazy. that probably does pretty good. I mean, it's just people don't go, people. I'm guessing that was to get people more into the mall. Yeah. But I think they're just going to the. It didn't happen. No. <laughs> yeah, I don't. They're think just going to the movies now, and now you're just getting yeah. people to go watch a movie. And yeah, that's home. pretty much it. That movie theater is pretty nice, though. Oh, it's very nice. Have you ever been to yeah, it? Yeah, I'm actually impressed with it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. They have a really, they have like the RPX, which mm -hmm. is just their IMAX. Yeah. Every fucking theater has their own Dolby, IMAX, yeah. RPX, some bullshit. But uh, yeah, that was, the 80s was the peak of the mall, man. <laughs> yes, it was. You could get everything there. 
and see anyone. You ever gone to the uh, biggest mall in the world that's in like uh, Minnesota or something? Mall of America? Yeah. No. No. Have you? No. It's supposed to be just monsters, yeah. That will that will be. I mean, once they all start closing down, which we have a pretty popular mall here that I don't see closing down anytime. No, it's it's busy all the time there. Yeah, but uh, yeah, that will be the last one open. That mall. Yeah, America. definitely. They have a fucking a theme park in there and stuff. They have like five hundred stores. Where? Oh, it, mall yeah, America. The, yeah, yeah. They got like roller coaster a, in there too. Yeah, I think yeah. it's like a day to walk around. I don't even like going to this mall. They gotta have the same stores in there though. In different spots. No, man. You don't think so? You think I all of them are different stores? All 500? Well, I, I mean, they got to have a lot of stores that are not... I'm guessing they got to have a lot of stores that aren't filled. I mean, a lot of, like, empty spaces. You think so? I would imagine, man. Keeping 500 stores open all the time? Yeah, maybe. Seems like it'd be... I mean, you seem like there'd be stores just closing, opening all the time there. Yeah. Because that's a fucking ton. But yeah, I don't even really like going to our mall, let alone the mall that big. Imagine if you just had to go to the other side of the store for something. Like, I gotta go to JCPenney's, now I gotta go Macy's. It's on the other side. <laughs> yeah. What, I gotta take a day walk? I gotta take a cab? Yeah. <laughs> just to get to the I gotta, other side. I gotta call an Uber. Terrible. Yeah, I don't want any part of that. Well, Macy, is there anything else that we can talk about about season three? I mean, I don't know why, for some reason, why were we talking like this was gonna be the last season? Uh, cause I, I thought originally they said after three, they were going to be done. It's definitely not. No, no, <laughs> no. Well, and I just read an article that said it was either going to be season four or five. Four or five. Yeah. Yep. So it might go to a fifth depending on how four does. Yeah. We could be but, getting this for a long time. I don't know. These kids are almost getting to that age now. I mean, cause they're probably not going to start filming season four for what? Another year. Cause they, yeah. it took forever for this. So you got, you got to see, um, these kids will probably be 17, 18 and then if you were to do a season five, they'd be like 20. So that don't you think that'd be a little strange to have grown? Well, the season four, I don't think. I think high school age is fine. Right. So like if they're juniors or seniors in high school, but I'm saying like yeah. they're saying either four or five. So if they do a fifth. Maybe they'll record the gonna be back to back. Like Lord, Lord of the Rings. Of the Rings. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. They just do full. I mean, they only do eight episodes, so that wouldn't That's be crazy. True. That no. wouldn't be insane. You know, fucking Friends did be, 30 episodes. Yeah, it would probably be like a 120-day shoot for both yeah. seasons. But, I mean, they already have all the shit. I mean, right. whatever. And they're not going to go. They're not going to have a season in Paris or whatever. It's all going to be in Hawkins. Mm-hmm. So, I mean, they have it all ready to go. The mall is fucked up. I don't think there's going to be a mall there anymore. I don't know what the the biggest thing for season four is going to be explaining all this. Yeah, explaining the giant monster that fucking died in the middle. <laughs> yeah, he had a lot, a lot of, a lot of death in this one. Billy had a, a pretty good death though. He we did. barely talked about that, but man, did he get stuck? Oh man, like a pig. <laughs> <laughs> he held that thing off, and it he was just did. as raw. It was quite strength. impressive. <laughs> that monster. The kid was, was strong. Oh yeah, well he lifts. You could tell he lifted. You could tell he lifted. Yeah, it has sweet the fucking ladies loved him. sweet Trans Am, sweet car, sweet, sweet ride, sweet Trans Am, man. Even that's, from season two, that's how you get all the moms to drop their panties. You pull up in that thing, and fucking lifeguards for some reason just always just slinging. pulled more ass. Yeah, I guess so. <laughs> I guess having they didn't the Billy thing. Del- all they're doing is just sitting in a chair. It's not yeah. like they're saving lives. They're fucking every day. moms half the time. I know. I guess just knowing the ability to swim was a big, a big commodity thing. back in the then. 80s, yeah. <laughs> but Not uh, too yeah. many people knew how to do that. Because they only hire hot lifeguards. Yeah. I mean, we know it from Sandlot. Peppercorn. Iconic, yeah. <laughs> the hottest lifeguard of all time. <laughs> she was. But yeah, they, I mean, they uh, they were very judgmental about lifeguards in all these movies, for sure. Because you only get the hottest. Even the other chick was pretty hot. Billy's, you know, the girl he ended up tr- uh, changing oh, yeah, or whatever. With, yeah. yeah. But, uh, yeah, her parents were dicks, though. We didn't talk Terrible. about that very much. Wasn't too upset. And I did like the part when uh, when Nancy ended up beating the shit out of Jake Busey in the hospital, whatever. Oh, yeah. With the fire extinguisher. Yep. That was she awesome. She fucking rocked him, man. She, but you know she was just taking some anger out. Yeah, I would say probably <laughs> all that, all that uh, verbal abuse in the office would probably yeah. get to you after a while. A shame he didn't even die, like, donating his body to the monster. He just got the shit beat out of him. And deservedly so. But didn't he turn into a little blob after that? Yeah, he did. Don't they all yeah, end up turning they into all, little blobs? Yeah. yeah, get into the giant monster. Yeah. Well, all right. I loved it. I can't... 
I'll be here. We I'll be there for season four. Same. Definitely. And I'll watch it in one day, and then I'll fucking have two years of waiting to do. And I can't wait to do it. What holiday is this one going to come up? Martin Luther King Day? Um, they're running yeah, out, yeah, of, they're big running out of big holidays. Probably Christmas. They didn't do Christmas The yet. first one's Christmas. It was? First season. Yeah, she had all the lights. That's oh, why. that's right. Duh. And the second one's Halloween. Third one's July 4th. Yeah. So the next one will be... Arbor Day? Groundhog Day? <laughs> yeah, that's a good question. I don't know. Thanksgiving? Yeah, but Thanksgiving pretty much is Christmas. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, I don't I don't know. I mean, they've always done one on a holiday. What's What's a good holiday? There's no they're running out. They're running out. Yeah, it's going to be a problem. President, they're going to have to figure that President's out. President's Day maybe? That's a big one. Ooh, that's a big one. <laughs> a lot of people enjoy that. And in the 80s, I think they loved it. Oh, they did. They had a lot to sure. celebrate Reagan. They they loved him. Yeah, the, yeah, the the Reaganism era. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> they had a lot to celebrate. Well, all right, Mace. That all was right. season three. That it was. Um, you guys can follow us on YouTube. Uh, type in "Have you seen it?" Have you seen a podcast? We are the Angry Popcorn. Uh, be sure to hit that subscribe button, like this video. Uh, you can find us our podcast on audio format on Spotify, iTunes, SoundCloud, Google Play, and Stitcher. Uh, you can find us on social media: Instagram, Have You Seen It? Facebook, have you seen a podcast? Twitter, seen a podcast. Cash is on Twitter. That's just cash. My name is Mason Knight. That is Cash Krause. And until next time. Bye.